Oh, I got you. Good, thank you. All right, um, so I'd like I said, on everybody's seat, there should be a couple of things, uh, a copy of the agenda for tonight. That's what we're gonna talk about. Uh, and also what I've just provided you, there, there are two uh, pictures. One uh, shows all the utilities that are in Old Town. And the good news is, is we've got all that now. Uh, and we know what's there. Um, I can tell you uh, that from, from the funds, we are also doing what they call preliminary engineering. Anything that we do there is going to need to have current engineer surveys. So that's what uh, uh, we're doing. Uh, the second is one of the things that we're going to talk about. Uh, there's actually already been quite a bit of planning in Old Town. And uh, local architect uh, Michael Murphy, uh, he, uh, there was a whole process back in 1992 that uh, has already kind of at least planned out various concepts and some ideas. And we're going to ask you about that tonight. So uh, with that, uh, if you haven't got on your uh, cell phone, uh, there's the QR codes. Get this. Uh, if anything, uh, Amber can bring it to you if you don't have it. Um, but it, uh, the way that we're getting participation uh, is, is through a, a program called Slido. You just put it on your cell phone. And uh, we're going to ask questions, and we're going to have a chance for absolutely everybody in the room uh, at the same time to, to uh, help us vote and get some consensus on things. Um, so, Amy, why don't we just kind of go to the first uh, uh, test question just to see how familiar everybody is. All right. So our first question is a super easy one. It is, what is your favorite Old Town pizza? <laughs> and I, I know that everybody's going to vote for the same one, but uh, I know we have people, uh, for folks who are online, um, uh, hopefully they've got this. Yeah, if, uh, for the folks that are online tonight, uh, it, you can just scan the QR code and you'll have everything that is um, uh, participating here. So whether you're remote or here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, I think that the, the thing is broken because I did not vote for the mother one. Well, I did. <laughs> I think that's the picture I, that they show. I, I think, <laughs> see, I told you that by showing that pizza, it would, it, it would accrue to the bias. I, I didn't vote for mother one. But mother one with weight loss is even better. That's right. <laughs> that was the uh, robot test. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's go to the agenda for tonight. A couple of things that we're going to do. We're going to we're going to review uh, the overall capital infrastructure uh, that that we have uh, there. And uh, for that, uh, just so that you can have your own view on on the large page that's there. Uh, we have this drawing, and what this uh, is, we look at capital infrastructure, it doesn't include any of the sidewalks, but uh, literally this is everything that's there, water lines, sewer lines, storm drain lines on things, uh, uh, just so that it doesn't uh, confuse anybody. Blue are the water lines, green are the sewer lines. Uh, there's a big yellow line that's an abandoned line. Uh, that's there. So um, uh, we've got uh, all the uh, uh, infrastructure that's already mapped uh, for the area. Um, we're also going to look at the 1992 streetscape design because it, it's not that we're necessarily uh, married to this design, but it does give some concepts that are without question workable. Uh, so we'll go over that. Uh, one of the things we're going to talk about is outdoor dining. And just getting everybody's impression on 
on all of that. And then some of the capital project ideas. Uh, there's a lot of things. Uh, essentially, we've got a half a million bucks. And that can go in, in many different directions. And we'll talk about some of the planning that's been done, but we'll also talk about other amenities. Um, I know that we'll, uh, we've got uh, a lot of interest from business owners uh, that are there. So uh, uh, the idea is, is uh, the Old Town just had a huge investment in putting new trash cans uh, into in Old Town. You know what? There's other things you can do too. Uh, and we'll, we'll, it, for those, huh? it did. That's awesome. One more time. So, um, the next question for folks that are there, and this is going to be one uh, um, as far as capital needs, got it. Just getting input for people who are property owners. Um, uh, this is your chance to elicit any frustration. Uh, options on there are infrastructure, water and sewer lines, if, if you think those are issues, uh, utilities, uh, things like three, phase three power uh, come up, uh, facades, do we need to do anything to the streets? Uh, here's your chance to uh, vote, and you can actually vote for multiple. You can. Uh, okay. You can't. Okay. Sorry. We will pick that up. One of the things that we can do uh, with the Slido, for everybody that's signed in, uh, what I think I'll also do is, is uh, there's a chance for us to do additional survey on various things. And if, if anybody sees right now, it uh, looks like uh, a lot of folks uh, have got it down. Uh, uh, we had 19 votes last time. Uh, uh, looks like uh, Streetscape, uh, some of the uh, infrastructure. I, I'm curious, anybody who put infrastructure, um, I want to just shout out uh, as far as water or sewer uh, or those types of things. Uh, anyone? Well, doesn't it depend a little on condition of the existing? If, if yeah. some of them are crumbling or deteriorating? I don't know, like some of the I no, I don't know that, but I'll find out. They're 20, 25 years old. Okay. They're not. That would be good news. So yeah. they, they replaced the uh, they replaced the clean pipe years ago. That's why that's why they have all these. That's why they have the clean pipe used to run on the sidewalk and so dash it or something. But the storm drain so, is the same with that, right? The storm drain would be separate. That and, okay, the storm drain would be separate. Okay. And the, uh, yes. It's a question frequently, I mean, a couple of decades ago, you used to always hear about storm drain problems in Old Town, but I think those have been resolved. So flooding. our understanding on, on the storm drains has to do with flooding. And it, it's just based on the proximity uh, uh, when you're at the bottom of the hill, that's what you get. And for for Old Town, I know that uh, obviously some of the improvements that were done here in the school park preserve uh, play a big role. Uh, they actually install, installed, um, school park preserve is actually a drainage uh, detention, basin, detention basin. And there are actually boards that are uh, placed, boards are just a, uh, uh, I don't even know if they're boards, but they might be metal plates you put in that actually uh, stores the water back. My understanding is that the uh, the school park preserve is designed to be flooded. Uh, if need be. Thanks. I think that helped on that side, on this side of Old Town. The other side of Old Town goes into uh, an occasion that they want to be in the store. They blow out and they would never still break right now. But, uh, I, I think they, my understanding of, of the flooding issue was you know, the, the, the flooding was the water coming this way, but uh, I don't think there's any problem with water getting out of Old Town once it, uh, once it gets there. Just to clarify, when the 
National Park Preserve was daylighted, there was a, and the Corps of Engineers did that project, uh, there was a weir put in toward the western side that would capture any water that went down and used to flood Old Town. And uh, so that seems to have worked up to this point. Okay. You know, I, I, we'll, we'll do a, a little bit more complete homework on it. Uh, the, the score, uh, honestly, was that the water and the sewer stuff is super expensive. We know that uh, that's there, but as we move on it, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure on all those things. Um, but for the most part, uh, uh, the idea of uh, the streetscape and the outdoor stuff, um, uh, sidewalks, uh, 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 just a maintenance issue, do you think, uh, are they just over sidewalks? All right. Um, you know, why, don't, why don't we move on uh, to our next question that we have for everybody. Uh, so one of the things that, that we're trying to find out, and this is where you all can help us, um, we know that, that flooding was a past issue there. Um, any other issues that you think, and this is one uh, where uh, you would just type in uh, any past issues that you think, uh, or have there been issues uh, uh, with lighting? Have there been issues with um, uh, the circulation, the streets, a a anything? Just uh, any issues, and this is one of those uh, word things you just type in uh, issues that um, we may or may not, but we, we're just looking. Okay. I've got a suggestion. Uh, ADA access uh, doors. A lot of the sidewalks in Old Town do not have ADA compliance. And there are people with wheelchairs or electric vehicles that uh, want to go to Old Town, but they can't make it through without uh, going into the streets. So a lot of those are um, city properties. They're all yeah, the 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 building owners in charge of the sidewalk. In Old Town, most of the building owners are on the sidewalk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but one of the things, I'm a person who gives, I'm a docent for plastic, for, uh, plastic sanity, and I give the walking tours. Okay. What I've noticed is that there are people who are really interested in going into Old Town, but there really isn't a, you have a wheelchair, a stroller, a wagon. There is no real way to get around Commercial Street or to go down Sacramento Street because there's so many stairs. So it's really an issue with ADA clients. It's an issue with the future for people who want to, you know, come and visit Old Town Auburn, pedestrian, Testing and safety is really important. Okay. Um, so in, in some areas, like on Sacramento Street, where the grade of the street is steeper than ADA ramps, yep. it makes it very difficult to figure out how you would switch back ramps. Uh, so, so, but down in the other part of Old Town where things are a little more flat, I can see how that would be an issue. And it's something that could probably be taken care of. But once you get up, going up the hills, then it's mm -hmm. a little more difficult. I was walking, you know, I take, I take people down Commercial Street. Mm -hmm. On the right on the street where there is a Valero gas station, there could be a sidewalk there or something so that people could get around. Okay. Yeah, as Steve pointed out, yeah, the hills are an issue every day. <laughs> they just are. And, and uh, it's almost impossible to get past those. But one of the things about uh, creating uh, better accessibility is to do it where you can. And also in the highest traffic areas, because that's where you get those things. Uh, so you have a, a question or a comment? Yeah, I'm wondering how much it falls under the historical district and historical you know, grandfathering in a building, 
we can make the accessible location, and then how much of old town just simply disappears. They count for a certain look and feel to it. Now, the, the, the one thing, uh, if, if you go on Commercial Street, almost the entire thing is uh, basically, uh, it, it's probably the most historical uh, area of Auburn, uh, legitimately. And uh, so they, they, they reap uh, tremendous benefits uh, for that. And also, on the negative side, uh, if it's not accessible, they lose out on those customers, too. But it's just Things, but, um, uh, uh, for reference, pretty much the entirety of commercial street is on the National Historic Register. Yep. Very good. Okay. Okay. And, and by the way, just so that everybody knows, this is part of our note taking right here. As these issues come in, one of the things that we will do after we're done with tonight is all of all of the information that's collected is going up. Uh, uh, if you go onto the city's website, we have an entire page that's dedicated, and all of this stuff is accessible. And what we will do is we'll put together a summary of, of some of the key things that come out of this meeting, uh, just so that you know. After this meeting, by the way, part of the follow-up is, is, is tonight, we really want to get direction. Super important tonight. We want direction. And from tonight's meeting, the intent is that we're going to start moving forward in a couple of directions. And what we want to do is, is we will feed back to everybody where we're going with, with some of these things. There are some things that we can do from an engineering perspective. There are things that we can do from just an organizational uh, perspective. Uh, we will report back to everybody on that. And then uh, from there, uh, we will have uh, the next meeting. One of the things that we promised all the groups is we are not going to kill you with meetings. We're going to have effective meetings, and we're going to get direction, and we're going to go on, on these things. Um, all right, uh, Amy, next slide. So in front of everybody is our uh, basically the drawing. Uh, this was done in 1992. And uh, it was part of a group uh, led by Michael Kent Murphy, who's a local architect. Uh, uh, his business is right here on Auburn Folsom Road. Uh, and basically, they came up with a concept of, of some improvements with one goal. And one goal is pedestrian accessibility, the idea of uh, taking uh, uh, and modernizing certain aspects of, uh, of uh, uh, Old Town, basically to, to create uh, a more pedestrian friendly environment. If you look at this, and we've included, um, I, I will tell you from a functional standpoint, uh, uh, with our engineering team, we broke it up into three different phases. And, and the bases don't necessarily have any particular order, uh, but they do represent logical planning areas that if you were going to uh, group uh, improvements of any one type, it would most logically go this way. It's not like you can just do things all over. It, it doesn't work that way. Um, what's down here? Um, so now let me uh, go over here and let's talk about some of the uh, some of the things. I'll, I'll use this. So um, kind of working from right to left, uh, this building where it says phase one, uh, that is the uh, uh, that's the Auburn uh, House, and. Really, it, it, it is a way of upgrading in here. Uh, there's an area known as the triangle. If you look at the, uh, the various areas, the triangles. But the idea is filling that in. You turn uh, Washington Street here into um, a one way. And basically, you would configure a traffic pattern 
you would create pedestrian uh, areas, basically outdoor seating. You know, the reality is, is that uh, the idea of uh, creating some type of uh, what is in Central Square and creating it right here is a very distinct possibility. If any of you are like me and you wander around, what do you do? You wander right through this area uh, uh, all the time anyway. And the idea would be- The one way road? Uh, um, uh, uh, the, the idea is that you would put some seating places for people to gather in there. There's the ability to put various amenities. Uh, I'm terribly unclear. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Yeah, you can write that in the Q&A. <laughs> get Amy to be able to Mute yourself, Genevieve. It wasn't me for a change. That's okay. <laughs> That's right. I'll, I'll, we weren't going to blame you this time. So you got pedestrian areas here. One of the things that it also includes, and uh, to, to Mike's comment and to the, your comments about better accessibility, is the idea to go into the intersections and do some things that would enhance the overall, uh, um, uh, not only the, the ability for the, the, the ramps and everything to be compliant there, but one of the things that do, doing, whether it's a, a creating a sidewalk treatment of some type, is that it creates traffic home. Mm -hmm. When you change the typical uh, uh, circulation environment, it changes people's perceptions. They slow down. And when you put that brick crosswalk in there, anybody who's new it flips their brain and they're like, oh my God, that bit of slow because I'm going to crash or something. <laughs> so it, uh, if you look in, in this first phase, it's the idea of creating. Pedestrian ways, the idea of a crosswalk here, enhanced crosswalks, but the, the, the focus in this first area is the idea of creating uh, <coughs> pedestrian uh, gathering area in there. Moving on to the second phase, it's it, it really is going up the street, and probably the most prominent thing is actually closing the street right here. And it's called, uh, in this drawing, it's called Fireman's Park. Again, creating a pedestrian area, you would actually just close off the, the street right there. You would fill it in with some type of park amenity. And the idea that you would uh, allow people uh, a chance to gather there. Um, in this, there, there's not a, a lot of other drama going into this thing, except uh, some additional sidewalks that all create that, that the ability for people to wander. That's the goal. Remember, when you're trying to create a pedestrian environment, you want the place to be walkable, and you want to create great spaces. The idea is that people are given an opportunity to live in, in this zone. And uh, uh, it, it has to be inviting. And in this case, uh, going on one way of traffic, even like one way of traffic, just kind of go out by eight and can't figure it out. So, um, uh, this is the fire uh, uh, house that's right there. Um, phase three is probably one of the more complex parts of it. You go all the way to the, 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 the Chiana statue. Um, there would be some reconfiguration of the park around uh, the Chana statue. Um, uh, um, in this, it changes commercial street to a one-way street uh, on, on some things. So obviously a, a bigger plan that needs to go in. Um, but uh, in here, it also adds what uh, would be some type of a roundabout or a, a pedestrian feature. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of hairy about the cars flying up to the, the, the freeway right there. So something to, to be able to slow traffic. So you've really kind of got this uh, progression. Uh, you've got some other things. You've got improvements that could, can go into the Hershey Young Park. 
thing that's great about Hershey Young Park is that it's already there. And probably uh, if there's any remodel or anything that could go, it's basically amenities, super easy, uh, uh, not really that difficult. Um, but uh, basically got the idea that you're adding in elements that en enhance the pedestrian experience on various things. So the roundabout is just north of Chana Park. Correct. And by the way, I, for the roundabout, I don't even know if that would be cool with Caltrans. They might have a coronary. Yeah. <laughs> is that much of an off-road there? So I don't know how much one is allowed down. Yeah, I mean, it might be more of a uh, evil can evil ramp or something. Yeah, John, I mean, this to me at least sounds really nice. Um, just one question: Is it affordable? <laughs> you know, uh, honestly. Uh, not uh, half a million dollars isn't going to do it, but uh, I can tell you that half a million dollars could probably take a bite and start it. You know, one of the things unequivocally is part of this process, we need to start building momentum. One of the things that this does by having a downtown master plan like this is a, a town like Auburn has the ability to go for grants. And uh, I can tell you that I personally have built out an entire downtown, five phases of high-end brick and amazing public spaces on grants. But you know what you have to do? You have to do the first project. You have to be able to demonstrate, have a team that's gonna get the projects done. One thing about grants, is remember the person who's giving you that grant is in so many ways betting that you're going to be able to accomplish what you do and one of the things is a mantra for for auburn is we go for grants we need to always have a swagger that says one thing is that we do everything that we say that we're going to do and all of a sudden the granting agencies are going to think I want to give them more money because the, the, the grantor of the money wants that money spent. They want the projects done. That's what those bureaucrats, believe it or not, there's a scorecard. And if you give uh, a bunch of grants out to people that give the money back, that's like a really bad grade on your report card. So um, we're looking at that. Um, all right. Um, so, uh, good question. Best guess, how much of this is half a million years? And then the other question, I'm sure it's on here. Okay, how many parking spots does it add? How many parking spaces does it add? It doesn't add a single parking space. It doesn't add for free Yeah. No, actually, it would take, if, if, if we worked in the first phase of it, it'll take uh, some parking spaces out. But uh, there's a trade off. The trade off is, is uh, obviously uh, the amenity. You said that they aren't phase one, two, and three aren't necessarily in that order. They aren't. They're just. They, they, but they would, they would be different priorities. But you know, let, let me get to the next question. Hey, Amy, next question. So I like the 92 plan. It's a basic rating. Is it one is good or five is good? Five is good. <laughs> That's a great question. Okay, all One of the things that I'm going to add into this is more of a drum roll thing so people can't go. Spike my vote. <laughs> so we have, uh, it looks like 17 people are voting on these things. So uh, it, it roughly looks like probably half of the people uh, are given a pretty favorable poll. And, and so we're kind of 50 50 on, on the plan right now. Uh, uh, 
So why don't we go to the next question? Uh, what do you like about the market? And there's a there's a whole bunch of different. Where did all these percentages come from? Just the voting. You're just the voting. There's voting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like a lot of people, uh, if, if anything, are liking the core area of the, of the project. Um, uh, for those of us that are kind of geeks about some of these things, uh, the crosswalk improvements are, are a, a deal. They really are. They, they can transform an area by creating better pedestrian flow and access. Good. What's the other not listed? Does anyone want to say what they like that wasn't? Oh, that's great. No, it wasn't me. I'm just not, other not listed without being able to write it. I'm just curious if there's something else that we're going to So uh, we're going to ask the, the, the other side uh, what are some of the things that you don't like about the 92 plan? Just an observation on the last one is the two highest ones were Washington Plaza and Fireman's Park, right. meaning pedestrians. Yep. Yeah. That's that. Basically, that that's it. The idea of uh, creating public areas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, a number of comments uh, that it's outdated. Anybody want to throw out um, from it being outdated? Sure. Um, I would say if outdated was the closest mm. word I could come up with. But what I'm noticing is deterioration and things being very stuck to the point to where it doesn't look very clean. It's really kind of, you know, I'm just saying Old Town Pizza moved out and there's an area in there that's, that really needs some help. It looks like there was a, a light there and it's broken or there's a, like a brick square thing. And then there used to be an old man in a chair. It was really cute for tourists. And he was snoring and it was lit up and that, that there was nothing there. And, he went to the new location. He was what? He moved to the new location. Yeah. Oh, he moved to the new location? Okay, there we go. But we guys have some people. It's kind of touristy. Kids like it. So I would say, you know, things kind of need to be cleaned up. We need some the flower boxes. We haven't had flowers okay. in years. So, okay. So it's kind of some type of an overall uh, uh, clean, clean up element into the overall project we could get. Okay. We're good. When I think about outdated, I think really that most of the people who worked on this aren't around anymore, and so maybe there might be some coming together of the current stakeholders to kind of revamp it and maybe pick the things they like and don't like. 
together and, and make sure that it kind of like there's a parking spot on there that's not really parking it's private property there's pieces that aren't quite right and so having the current stakeholders be able to kind of make sure it's all right yeah and without question i think probably one of the biggies uh, uh for all this uh I'll, I'll tell you one of the quests is to get this the, some type of a, a working plan on where we're at and and you know bringing some stakeholders. This, this plan has the area, it has some key concepts in it uh, that are, are timeless. Right? Buildings uh, are there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, there's some timeless elements to it. Um, but without a doubt, you would need to update it before you could go to a, a grant agency like SACOG yep. to try and get additional monies. Exactly. And it's the idea that you know, I, I'll, I'll be really straight with you. From, from the staff perspective, we would want to have some type of a project that uh, we can, that we think that would be manageable, that we, within the scope of, of being able to pull off. You need, you need, the way that you build momentum is you have to have that first project. You have to do that because, uh, um, uh, the, the granting agencies are very competitive and uh, they will not fund a pipe dream. They, they, they need for you as an applicant to go to them and say, um, see this, we now we want to do this. And uh, it's easier, it's kind of like a, a business loan. You know, you go to the bank, if you show that you, you could do it the first time, uh, it's probably going to be easy the second time. I'm very sensitive. Hey, let's go to the next question. Um, what would you, in in all of what you we've shown in the plan, what would you improve about it? <clears throat> you say more seating or less seating? Are you talking about talking about the temporary restaurant seating? No. Uh, what, we're, what we're talking about in this plan, it's got a lot of pedestrian areas, a lot of places for people to sit uh, and, and do things. Both Washington Plaza and Fireman's Park uh, are, are meant to have seating in, in them. I see that are fixed problems and stringing here. Yeah. Um, how much of that is just something that the city should be maintaining as it is that we feel we're voting on here? You know, I, like the light post that's on the corner of what the Lincoln Way and Sacramento there that somebody took out and had them in their place. You know, things like that. Yeah. You know, I, uh, from this, I, I can tell you what's sitting in the back of my mind right now. For everybody that's here, uh, if you haven't signed in, uh, we're going to update this and we're going to do more surveying of everybody that was here. We, we want to get more definition to this step on things. And uh, the, the thing that's nice about the, the Slido program is that we can run it like a survey monkey. And uh, we'll, we'll shoot this out to everybody and uh, we'll have the ability for people to give us more input. Do you have an estimate on the number of pedestrians you want to increase by with this plan? That's a great question. And, you know, I uh, honestly, we haven't done the measurements on, on, uh, on that. But at the end of the day, we want a lot of people there, always. And, and the one thing about great spaces is that uh, I, I always talk about the people that gather that have coffee. There, there are so many folks, I, I, I may not look like it, but I do a lot of running around uh, Auburn. And I see on the mornings that I run, all these people that are gathering, I see the same people all the time and they find places where they're sitting out having a cup of coffee and they're just talking. That is the goal. 
is the idea that you become that constant gathering spot. You know, one of the things that's really great about Central Square um, uh, is that it gives a place for families to go out there and it says don't climb on everything, but it's gotta be the best parkour course in, uh, in Auburn. But it, you know what? There's gotta be a place to go out let your kids be loud and in the hangout. And there's no cooler place that you'd want to hang out than sitting there in, in Old Town. Great food, figure out so many things for everybody to come and just love that area. So it's the idea that you create those spaces and you want people that, that are, are there. So I'm surprised to see that the more seating didn't get more votes because that's, uh, I mean, this, this plan was created long before the outdoor dining <clears throat> phenomenon came along. And I would think it would try to embrace that a little more so in an updated version, which yeah. would be more seating, more space devoted to outdoor areas than yeah. currently shown. Yeah, I think. I, I, I think the ability, uh, I'll tell you, I'm cheaping out right now by showing you the 1992 plan. <laughs> but the ability to actually, uh, we, we've got the preliminary engineering work going on right now where we're actually getting the measurements. If you know what we'll be able to do, we'll actually be able to scale it and give people an idea on, on various things. Ultimately, we'd like to boil this thing down into a couple of conceptual areas, whether it's Washington Plaza or, or Fireman's Park or whatever. And you know what we do? You sit down with little scalable things and, and you start moving around. Hey, how would this look like? How many benches and things could you put to kind of design some things? The hard thing too is some of this stuff has to go together because if I'm going to sit outside, especially in the evening, there needs to be good lighting or I don't feel comfortable and I won't sit there. Same with intersections. It needs to have a like low traffic that I feel comfortable with, especially with children, or else I'm not going to go sit there. So it's not necessarily one or the other that you can do. Yeah, and you know, that's when, when you bring the design architect into it, that's where they bring their brilliance and it combines everything that you're talking about. It has to be safe. You're going to have to put some shading uh, in there. It's got to flow uh, for everybody to go. And uh, it, it's a package. And that's what we're eventually getting to, the package. Uh, it was interesting. It's a fixed problem because I didn't see anything on this plan. No, my eyes aren't good. But I didn't see anything that said fix pro a problem. So, no so it said to look at this, look at the plan, and what, would I, what, what do you want to improve on, right? So fixed problems more like if I looked at Old Town now versus looking at this plan. So, so it was a, for, a confusing question. Yeah, and you know what? We're going to follow up with a, a, a survey that's going to say, tell us all the problems that you think are in Old Town so that we, we can do that. But also on that up, there's also a counterpart to it because you really want to maintain the historical relevance of things. So for example, on Commercial Street, is a really nice example of the way the road used to be in the late 1800s. And I saw Michael Murphy's example, he wanted to put cobblestone in. But still, that was, to be able to show what it was like really attracts people. And I thought, so I'm not really sure if you, if it's historically important, would you really want to destroy that? Yeah. Take it out? Yeah, no, I, I, I hear you. Um, you know, one of the, the balances is you don't want to make it fake, right? And sometimes including elements as, uh, as a complement to the area, but not necessarily to totally taken over. As an example, using real brick, using real things that kind of give you the feel for everything. Um, that architects will tell you that you don't want to create non sparing form where everything looks fake. And, and I think that's the balance, and that's where the, 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 the landscape architects bring in some of their, 
expertise and and part of it is uh, uh, bringing in some of the, the the people who know the history. Okay, what's something that we could do that would be homage to the the to the historical aspect of it? It's the balance, <laughs> something new that pays homage to the the, the old, uh, but it's not fake. And to that point, of, uh, you know, we're talking about sidewalks here. There's English, and we're talking about using real brick. Do we have photographic examples of them using brick with sidewalks? You know, so I, I will tell you um, uh, one thing that Amber and I do is we are also the docents for all the historical stuff up here on the second floor. Uh, so I, I, we have been bonding with all the historical folks. Uh, uh, that Phil, uh, if you haven't looked at the, all the pictures in here, it, it's worth a, uh, a tour. But we, we're bonding with them, and we will we we will talk with them because uh, you're like getting good pictures and figuring out what what's real. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. We'll see you now. Go inside. Yeah. Question. Uh, in phase three, we're extending up Commercial Street, which I think is important. But I noticed that there's no phase which continues up Sacramento Street. As a matter of fact, phase one doesn't even go as far up Sacramento Street to where Old Town Pizza used to be. It doesn't even go the other side of that parking lot. Is there a reason for that? Uh, I don't know. We, we could go up that way. My, my guess in looking at that way, they didn't go up that way. Is that as you start going uphill, you start having a lot of challenges. True. I I I would the, as you would with commercial street. Yes. The, this is uh, if if you were going to look at the lowest hanging fruit, this is the lowest hanging fruit on the things. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, add to what you're saying, why doesn't it go up to the fourth house too? There was talk at one time that they were going to put something like a central square up by the courthouse. People love to go up there and hang out. There's no place for them to sit and look at that beautiful house. And that's a gathering place. So also, why don't we put a roundabout on Auburn Folsom and link it and slow the traffic down? Mm. You know, or make it move. So I, I, I will share with you, and this is a complete different conversation for another time, but one of the things that we're doing is we're looking at our circulation element for the city and what the objective is, is looking at traffic, looking at ways of traffic calming, because I, I agree with you. I, uh, today I, I, I ran up uh, on Folsom Road and uh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I, you know, it, it's like right there at either High Street uh, or at the Barrogate uh, racetrack thing. It seems like it's a drag race going up that that, that way. Good stuff. Good. <laughs> All right. uh, basically, this plan has four uh, people places: the Triangle, Herschel, Walker Park. Fireman's Park and Channel. And everything else is basically a connection, an interconnection between those spaces. Yep. And, you know, I, I realize it's a very preliminary plan, but a lot of the devil, the devil is in the details of, of the spaces. How, uh, what kind of urban space do you, do you want? Do you want it? Grass, you want it paved, you want it hard, soft. What are you going to do with it? And so, so I, my suggestion would be you make some studies as to what you're going to put in those spaces. I mean, you don't have much choice, you're pretty fixed. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, ultimately, in, I, I, I'm just telling you, yeah, the, the, the more green, uh, that you put in there, the more maintenance it requires, um, uh, and uh, you know probably what we're looking at for that area is is more of uh, a hard space uh, with with uh, uh, amenities. <laughs> Maybe one other comment in, in, in looking at this plan. Um, 
architects and landscape architects have a bad habit of sticking a tree in every space that doesn't have anything else in it. And this, this plan has a lot of trees at the intersections, which is not good planning. So, so someone needs to look at the overall planting concept other than circles on a, on a plan like this. Okay. All right, uh, Amy, next slide. Um, everybody has this, uh, and I just include this in. Uh, as soon as we have it, I know that they are starting, uh, they, they started in, in downtown on doing some updates on some things. It's a little larger area. Um, they'll get into Old Town, uh, but one of the things that we will be posting for everybody is some preliminary uh, drawings, the modernization of all this stuff, just to, to check everything out. And in it, uh, it'll include uh, some of the discussion on things like storm drains and, and, and drainage. And uh, But the, the good news about all this, um, and I, I appreciate the comment about how the sewer lines are. We will find out all of that stuff on things. Um, all right, Amy, uh, next question. All right, so the next question is just about the feelings about dining uh, in Old Town. How much do you like eating outside? Yeah, I Amy, mean, what we're going to do in the, the next time that we do this is we're going to make it so that people can't see until they go. Gotcha. People are cheating right now, I think. So. Oh. Okay. So people like to see it. All right. Very good. But that, but that needs some further. I mean, seating, but the seating should be kind of integrated with the rest. Of it. Like one of the natural places is like for the Auburn Ale houses, they've got that temporary seating out there. Some of that could be captured in the. Now, we actually have a, we have a question coming up on that. Okay. Right. Um, all right, Amy. All right. We talk about hardscape and big improvements. Um, so this is my collage of, uh, of uh, things. If we were going to put other stuff into Old Town, what would it be? Uh, uh, public art, fountains. Uh, I always like to tell everybody uh, anything that, that, that basically titillates the senses is really important. So uh, whether it's visual, whether you hear it, whether you, the, the, the tinkling of water in the fountain, uh, all thanks to lower blood pressure. So Amy, next question. If we were going to add amenities in Old Town, what would you like to see? You know, the potential to have that space in, in Old Town, very similar to what's in, in Central Square, please. It really is. It's doable. All right. Good for the water fountain. Okay. All right. Uh, next question. 
Uh, if you're going to add additional seating that's not shown on the plans, where would you add it? So this is a type of your answer. Would you like it in front of businesses? Would you like it on particular street corners? Would you put more on the Herschel Young Park? Uh, do we need better seating out in front of some of the businesses uh, as far as benches and everything goes? By the way, the method to all this madness is if you think about it, we're, we're going through a progression uh, of things that will uh, enable us to start putting some ideas. Uh, we've looked at the core area and the idea of having pedestrian areas. People gave really good input on sidewalks and in the improvement of those things. We talked about some of the amenities. We're talking about things that are not on, on the 92 plan, but things that can be more modernized. So the, the, the goal for tonight is the idea that we're, that we're kind of ticking everything down to what from a staff standpoint, from an engineering standpoint, we can start working with all of this. And we've also learned about a number of things. The other uh, fix the problems. We need to get your input on what people are, are mean about fixing problems. If there are some amenity things that can be done. Good. All right, Amy, next slide. Uh, throwing this out. Uh, uh, question Is there anything that we have not discussed that people think that we need to discuss? What are we? Oh, we're supposed to type it in. Huh? All right, all right. John, I yeah. got some suggestions here. But 1992, uh, there was no medical museum <laughs> in Old Town. There's nothing about that uh, as a tourist attraction and also the Joss House Museum uh, is another big tourist attraction that should be included in this whole episode of Old Town. Okay. 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 Uh, I bet I know who put the sound and media uh, one up there. <laughs> Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. Who is in the 2012 <laughs> leadership class? Not me. It's their fault. It's their fault, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe it was my thoughts. <laughs> Actually, the city never finished putting them on. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, it's so from this, we're looking, talking about signage, uh, parking, both bikes, and cars. Okay. Um, you know, from this, because uh, like I said, number one, we're going to get out of here. But more importantly, uh, uh, there's a lot of follow up questions that I think that we need to get from folks. And uh, so, watch your email. Uh, we'll actually work on it to put together an overall uh, survey to get more information that will come out of all of this. And we'll ask more questions. One of the things that I, I will commit to everybody is that we will uh, put together a whole summary of everything, trying to piece all these things together. Um, so you'll get that. Um, and I encourage you to read it. And most importantly, I encourage you to comment on, on all of it. Um, very good. All right, Amy. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, no, just move off of that slide. Um, okay, we're going to wrap up on everything. Um, I want to give a plug. Uh, uh, Jonathan, do you want to give a plug? Sure. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, we actually have some grants that are available right now. Uh, one of them is uh, specifically for businesses in the Old Town, the downtown area. Um, so if you know somebody that needs facade improvements, anything, uh, some type of media apparatus that can extend the reach, like a uh, a, a website, web design, um, being able to take credit cards. I mean, it's that simple. Anything that we can do to help bank credit business, there is the opportunity right now. It goes until September 30th. The application's really easy. It's all online on the EDC website. So once you go there, look for grant funding opportunities. There's actually three different grants available right now. So I encourage folks to check them out. And there's handouts right there for the business improvement. You want to grab one on your way up. Yes. It's not one of the grants is for an event. Do you have to have that event planned, or is it be a kind of event? In order to get funded, you have to propose an event and ask to have a specific time frame because that's the money required. Okay. The window. So, so you can propose a hypothetical yeah. hoping. In the future, like, for, for clarification, that's the EDC. So this is an ongoing program. So if oh. you don't hit this window, but you want to have it next year. Okay, there'll be another window, another opportunity to request um, next year. So, yeah. Subject to funding availability. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Uh, to summarize, uh, we've gotten a lot of input tonight on, on the locations and some of the priorities. On the pedestrian areas, we've gotten input on some of the infrastructure, some of the amenities. Uh, we're going to take some of the comments that everybody has and we're going to summarize some of the things people brought up, things like lighting and those types of things that, that needed to be added in. Um, uh, there are a number of questions that, that are still out there. Here's what you're going to get from us. Um, please, if you haven't signed in, if, if you didn't get an email uh, uh, for this thing, sign in and we will put you on the email list. Uh, look for some type of a survey monkey uh, uh, or a Slido or whatever it is that we're going to send you to get more input from you on everything. From all this, we will come up with a summary. I expect that we're going to get some of the preliminary engineering on all of this stuff coming in so that uh, uh, at the next meeting, we're going to refine this and we're going to start working to get a project on things and uh, uh, the way this is working is from from this group uh, uh, we will work towards a recommendation that will go to the city council and we'll get in and get this thing going. I have two, two questions. Um, one, uh, are we going to talk about any date for our date for the next meeting and two, how are you notifying the property owners because they're not here? Okay, so we I, I think we sent out hundreds of letters on everything. Um, Did you go to the old town businesses? Because the last time I had asked about that, okay. I was I was told no, we, we, we will make sure that every single property owner is is set. We and we've been talking with a bunch of them, but you know what? If we can do better, we'll do better. 
I, I know one specifically, but haven't received anything. So that's, okay. that's why I'm not. Good. Very good. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you. Thank you.